Ever since I was a kid, I was very passionate about dinosaurs, and like you and many others, I asked the question, why did they go extinct? And now, Nick, it seems like we have a definite answer coming out of University of California, Berkeley professor Paul Rin, that he's leading an investigation where it's saying, well, we have these two main theories. One is the impact of a, an asteroid mm -hmm. here at Earth. The other one is the volcanic activity at the time. Now, because of the very precise measuring methods that they have developed, they can pinpoint these three, the impact, the extinction, and the peak of volcanism mm -hmm. very close to each other. And now the new theory is that it was not all one or the other, but the synergy of both. And I'm going to tell you why, because the research, they went in and they were looking at the Deccan Traps lava flows in India. Mm -hmm. And they realized that at the time, the output of magma was twice as much as it regularly was. And what happened is that the impact of the asteroid, the tunnels, like, let's call them the pipes of the volcanic structure of the, of okay. the planet, was changed. Mm -hmm. And the output of lava was much faster than initially thought. So the combination of the dust raised by the impact right. and the fumes and the magma coming out of these huge holes that the, the asteroid created yeah. made it really fast that the, uh, the atmosphere changed. But now they have reservations because they say, well, technically, we won't be able to know exactly the procession and the change in the atmosphere. We won't be able to say, well, out of the impact of the asteroid, these are the chemicals that went into the atmosphere. And out of the volcanism, these are the other chemicals. And these are the rate of change. We won't be able to know that. But what we are able to do is to pinpoint these three incidents so close that it's undeniable that they work together instead of one or the other. I think it's pretty crazy. Oh, no, it, it seems like a crazy time to be yes. alive. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, thinking about all the volcanoes erupting very close, uh, close to each other, I'd imagine that would make the Earth very hot, given the fact that there's all this dust and crap in the atmosphere that's probably keeping everything in. It would have made it extremely hot. So basically, yes. terrible mix of things, toxic mix of things for anything that was alive on the Earth at that time. And let's just hope it doesn't happen anytime soon. Global warming is right <laughs> up the hills. But what, what happened is that the air was blanketed with dust, debris, noxious fumes mm -hmm. that made the air you know, unbreathable, unbreathable even for the dinosaurs. And it took, actually, the, the Earth took 500,000 years before it was able to foster life as we know it. Uh -huh. So it was very, it was devastating. And they, they, just the thought, and that's why everyone, you know, here and there, we have these news stories about asteroids coming to the Earth because the reality is if that the case, we could be facing another massive extinction, although we are already in a massive extinction. Yeah, what are the chances, know? though, of something coming, hitting our tiny little rock, another tiny rock in the space, in this huge, ginormous There's space? There's mathematical what's, chances. What's mathematical yeah. chances? Whatever. I'm so, sure by that time, even if it does happen and there is something life-threatening hurtling towards Earth, I'd hope that we have the laser beams to shoot it. Yeah, but tell me what you think about the, the fascination as humans that we have for dinosaurs. It's pretty crazy because everybody loves dinosaurs. Every time that we find a new fossil or a new species of dinosaurs, yeah. the science community goes wild. And I think it's just, it's just this idea that the dinosaurs ruled the Earth pretty much as humans do, and still they, were, they disappeared. I think it's because they look like nothing that's around now, and they're so monstrous, and they look so damn cool, and all we know is that they used to live here. They yeah. actually did exist. They look like something out of a movie, and the fact that they actually really did exist, and all we have is skeletons, I think adds to that mystery and the intriguing. I mean, there's a lot of initiatives to bring these species back. Yeah. Now with the, the advancement in genome science mm -hmm. and cloning, they have theoretically what they need to bring some species back to life and then we go into the ethics debate if that's a good idea. You know, we've seen, you know, obviously the, the obvious Jurassic Park yeah, and these yeah, movies and whatnot. Ones. But also there's a scientific, you know, origin to all these ideas and the fascination we have with the past and maybe the fear that we see the same fate move us to understand more about these animals and that's why these researchers found out that it's not the asteroid or the volcanoes but both working together to make the dinosaurs extinct. Let us know if you're passionate about dinosaurs. Leave us a comment below. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Leap TV.